Maybe Riley knows something I can use against Mac. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. (laughs) I think she just wants me to end up happy. Will she be all right without you? She's a tough cookie, but I do worry about her sometimes. She's getting older. One day I'll have to take care of her. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah. To both of us. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him. So much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad he had you. Thank you, Alex. Really. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he's telling the truth about the call? That Gabe never made it? No, I... I, It's not that... I... Sorry. I'm really not ready to talk about it. Are you sure? Sometimes talking about it can help you sort it all out. I'm just not there yet. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. I don't want to push Riley, but I need to know more about Mac. How do I get her to open up? Maybe Riley knows something I can use against Mac. Thanks for spending time with me. Thanks for letting me. She was finally feeling better. I didn't want to ruin that. I hope you find Mac. Thanks. I hope it's good news.
Alzheimer's. That's awful. They look like they have a really sweet relationship. To help fill the gaping void inside, we offer you our condolences and... I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. I have to imagine Gabe would be amused to know he made it in the newspaper. Yeah, a warning would have been nice. I'm always here for you, if you need anything. And he did it all with one rusty saw and a bottle of gin. Impressive. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. I'm here for you, whenever you need me. There's gotta be a Triforce around here somewhere. If only I had my ocarina. Hopefully, things around here can settle down again.
I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Okay, this is probably the most haven thing I've seen yet. Tragically, now isn't the time to check out the rest of Haven. Whenever you're ready for that interview, give me a call. Yep, will do. Insert epiphany about new beginnings here. Wind chimes, the original jam band. One doctor had me try meditation. I always just fell asleep. Nothing says festive like three exclamation points. We're done here. like this acting like what maybe i can get her to tell me do you want to talk about mac yeah i get it it's just if he didn't do anything wrong why is he acting like he has something to hide He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no, and that we were done. And now, I'm scared he did something horrible. Riley, thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear.
I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Oh God, it's not... I didn't do anything. <sighs> Fuck off! <sighs> Leave me alone! Deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Always watching. always watching. They run this whole town. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. It should have been you instead. Alex? No. What the hell? There are people out there. No, I told you to call it off. I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Cave and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? 
My neighbors all hate me. I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? All right, Mac, come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted, to have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon. If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> so, what are you going to do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm going to get to the truth. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep- Coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed.
Ryan. I owe you my life. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. You were brave this morning. You're brave now. I've never been as brave as you. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. You're not alone. <laughs> There's a guy in a gorilla suit. <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no. He chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something... You should know about me. And it's going to be easier to show you than to explain it. This is going to seem sort of weird at first. Then really weird. Do you trust me? Think of something that makes you so angry, you just want to scream. You really focus until you feel it. The wasted potential. You're angry for me. For Ethan and Charlotte. For everyone who had their futures with Gabe stolen. Wish you could have been there with us. There was no one in the world more fun to be around. <laughs> Man, this one time... Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? Ha <laughs> ha.
Must be a good memory. I wonder if I can piece it together. How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. The Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up! It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? Gabe, Goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! <laughs> so, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well... They are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> How? So, I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I... I feel what they feel. As if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... With me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But that that was pure joy. Who else knows? I've never told anyone until now. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now.
you're welcome, I guess. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. I said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. I love you, Gabe. 